Hello my YouTube family. Um, I'm in my room and in my bed at the moment because I've been quite sick. I mean I've just had a really bad um, cold and I've had a really bad stomach ache for about two that lasted about a week and a half. I also in the end got vaccinated which was pretty interesting <laughs> like it um i got vaccinated about two days ago and it really put me out for one day so i've been pretty much on and off ill <laughs> for the past three weeks in this video i would like to talk about my own um well the the my own start with investing or how I started investing in the markets. I wouldn't say like I was really that of an expert when I started investing. I just kind of started like I usually start with most of my projects in life. It's just like, oh yeah, well, <laughs> let's just let's just try it out. What's the worst thing that could happen? Um, so I will show you a little bit of what my first or the first things that I bought on um, on my um, with my online broker the first uh, shares that I bought and what my thought process was behind it it's not really that, um, <laughs> that, that I don't really have that much of an intelligent explanation behind it but uh, you'll you'll find out so let's head into the intro and uh, I'll see you soon. first log into this uh, online broker or when I first logged into the online broker you get all of that and <laughs> when you look at it it's pretty overwhelming I mean you have I have seen stuff like this before but what all what are all these things like I mean of course they're you can see here it's like I know these companies, um, those are, this is like a supermarket in Belgium, this is a bank, so, but most of these, like this one, I have no idea what that is, I don't know what's that, and I have no idea, oh, this is like a beer company, I assume, InBev, so these are all like shares from the Belgium. 20 and but I mean you don't really understand where to go and how to start so there's a lot a lot of information on here and you don't know usually I didn't know where to start <laughs> but luckily I only had like 20 or 30 euros, maybe 50 euros, that's the first first amount that I had available for myself to invest. So it limits, it limits your options, <laughs> because you can't buy a lot with 30 euros. So when you go around here to the products, that's where all the magic happens, so that's where you can actually go out and buy stuff which is the whole idea behind behind investing you go and buy stuff so back in august 2019 my idea was basically to buy stuff i had 30 euros and then i didn't know what i was doing and then i thought let's just go and buy stuff so <laughs> so but what to buy that's the big questions because the big question because as you can see there's so many things here you can buy there's 
shares, options, trackers, ETFs, futures. Um, I don't know how to translate that in English, but obligations and funds and warrants. And you just don't really know where to start and what they are all, what they all mean or what they are. But having only 30 euros, I couldn't really buy that much, so it made the whole um, first experience a lot easier, I guess, for me, because I was just looking for things that weren't that expensive. So here are my first purchases that I did. It was on the 15th of August, so a day after I opened my broker account. These are... this is actually pretty funny when I look back to these, um, these shares, because I from, from some of them I've already forgotten that I bought them. I don't have any of these in my portfolio anymore because I bought these right at the beginning when I didn't know what I was doing and after I think about a year of investing I kind of sold all of them because they were just annoying me. That's what happens sometimes, you know, like you you start and but I'm still really I'm still really happy that I bought them because without buying these these first shares I wouldn't probably have started investing and they were a good investment at that time because I didn't have that much to invest. I was still scared, I didn't know what I was doing, I still needed to do lots of research, so I started with a really small amount of money. The amount of money that I knew that I wouldn't feel too much heartbroken if I did something silly with it. So I started with like 30, I think it was 30 euros, maybe 50, but I think it was 30. So and I bought a couple of shares, so as you can see here, is I bought um, two shares from the Black Diamond Group, LTD. The reason why I bought these was actually because I thought they it was Black Diamond Company. And Black Diamond is... Um, I thought it was the company that I have these um, hiking poles from. <laughs> it's like a like a pretty well-known outdoor gear company but the Black Diamond Group isn't the same as this um, outdoor company it's like something completely different they built I think they built real estate in Canada or they're a building company in Canada which I only found out afterwards so <laughs> it was I bought two shares and they both costed me 1 euro 18 so the total came to 236 but i mean the costs here of course i didn't know anything about transactional costs which is something i learned that day is that i had to pay seven and a half euros transaction costs on them which um, is more than the shares are worth so that's a lesson i learned And then the next share that I bought was from a real estate or a real estate company in Belgium. I bought two shares for 340, which is 680, and again the transaction costs they were a lot lower, so it was like two euros, which is still high, but it's okay. And then I bought um, from the Afrac group, which is like um, I think it's a um, afterwards I found out that it's like um, a mining company and I bought two uh, shares for 72 cents and I had four euro costs on that which was again not that smart but that's how I learned about um, transactional costs and that you always need to weigh your transaction costs um, I mean, if you if you buy only two shares and they're seventy two cents, and then you have transaction costs of four euros, it doesn't make that much sense. But if you would invest maybe like five hundred 
euros into it and your transaction cost is four euro it, it kind of balances i mean it, it the transaction cost is not really that that great about a month later i decided to invest a little bit more so i think i put another 30 euros into my online broker accounts and i decided to buy more stuff but this time i was a little bit more informed and because i was following this um this youtube channel so i decided to go with one of the um, shares that he recommended and that was canopy growth as you can see here so i bought one share in um, on the 12th of september so about one month later and again the transaction costs were seven euros so was that a good idea probably not considering the transaction costs and i also later on sold this share or sold the shares that i had from canopy growth but what else i did a couple of days later i decided to um buy 15 shares from the afrag group and that was with the transactional costs maybe a little bit better of a choice perhaps not because i spent like 960 and then i had to pay about half of it in transaction cost on top of that so that was also again not a good idea but yeah you live and you learn and then i bought shares one share from ing which is a bank in um a bank we have in belgium i thought that was a good idea too I paid 9 euros for it and then I had 2 euros transaction costs from that as well. So especially in those very early days because I was still a bit uncomfortable and scared of investing or buying a lot of shares all at the same time and I was still figuring stuff out. I spent a lot of money on transaction costs because in the end I bought like one share here one share there and then maybe 15 but they were so cheap so and the transaction costs were so high so it didn't make that much sense when i look back to that now but i'm glad that i did it because it was for me a big learning curve or at least i had to get used to looking at shares and buying shares and doing like trial and error so that's how i learned it's like i made some of those decisions that could have been better and i learned that throughout the months but those first couple of um first couple of months that i was investing like i just had to get over this fear of buying things or buying shares on the market and by starting slow or starting small i started getting interested in this whole investing and the market and how is it does it work and i started like doing my research and i would have never started doing research about the market unless i started with those couple of shares that i bought like the one share here and the one share there and I made a loss on them but it really sparkled my interest in investing so whenever I feel or whenever my friends or whenever I talk to people who just are a little bit resistant about investing and about the market and they don't know how it works then the only advice or I really wish that I could just explain to them is that it's not really about doing it wrong or doing um, doing or, or not knowing what it's all about you just learn by doing and you learn by doing by making a couple of mistakes or you learn by 
just doing things and then you're continuously thinking to yourself is how can I do it better and that's how you evolve <clears throat> and that's what happened to me that was the video of this week make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't gotten a copy of my book then there is a link down below I hope that you are having a wonderful day and I will see you next Thursday in my next video. Okay, bye darlings. Mwah.